if you are a MAGA person that have a strong conviction for the thug in chief, the former thug in chief, that is Donald Trump. If you are one who follows this person, I want you all to think something through and ask yourself a few questions. There, for, for, for decades, we, whether a president is corrupt or not, he was not active. He tried not to be at least actively corrupt. He tried not to be, uh, to show himself or herself as corruption. I can only say himself because we have yet to have a woman president. But we, we, at least he tried, right? And not only that, we looked at this person's life. Were they a good person? Were they not, etc. What had to change within your education model that you can say, we know this guy raped a woman. That's what the judge said. We know he did quite a few bad things, including sexually assaulting women. We know that he created charities in which he stole the money for the charities to buy stuff for himself. We know that he created a false university to go and took millions of dollars for people from people. Each of those cases, by the way, he had to plead guilty. He had to create, he had to pay million dollars, millions of dollars in damages. He created product systems that, you know, were all fraudulent. He left working class people who came and work at his hotels unpaid. He, I mean, he, he cusses and, I mean, he does all these things that, me as a man with a daughter would never do around my daughter or want my daughter to know of me because I do want people to say, I do want my daughter to look up to me as being her parent. And all of you out there that is supporting that for the presidency, all of you that are supporting that, ask yourself if your daughter brought home a man with those discernible qualities, what would you think? Isn't one of the things that you also would have told your daughter, anybody who has the proclivity to do those things just won't treat you right and just won't treat anyone right and isn't one that one can trust. So you put in your trust into somebody of that character. What makes you believe that somehow one, they're going to do what they said, and again, they haven't done what they said they would do, that they would be truthful to you. Everything that he said on the debate scene, everything that he has said he has done is really false. The, the, uh, the economy that many of you are telling yourself, well, the reason we're voting for him is at least the economy was good under him. That's wishful thinking and provably false, and we've done it several times, and you can find it all over. So I, I have to ask you, think, go within your mindset and without prejudice, without all these other things, ask yourself, how can you give somebody like this credence and try to refute anything that I have just said there with fact-based information, with, 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 uh, in, with uh, what you would do with any person that was not this guy, but that was this was within yourself. Ask yourself, how could you do that? We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.